Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, this is our third session for Introduction to Algebra. In the previous session, uh, we discussed how to convert a verbal expression into an algebraic expression. Right? We did good number of problems based on that. In this session, we will be taking more some problems uh, uh, based on conversion of verbal expression to algebraic expression. Then we will discuss uh, the evaluation of an algebraic expression. Right. So let's begin this session now. Now friends, uh, we have a word problem over here. Amar is twice as old as Ravi. If Ravi is Y years old, what is Amar's age? Now Ravi is Y. And we have to find out Amar's age. Now Amar is twice as old as Ravi. Right. That means Amar is twice as old as Y. That means Amar is 2y. Right? It's very simple, friends. Now, suppose you are asked uh, what will be their ages after 8 years. Now, what would happen after 8 years? If this is the present age, I'm just extending the question. After 8 years, what would happen? 8 will be added to these ages. So, it is y plus 8 and it will be 2y plus 8. Right. After uh, suppose you are asked well, before two years, what were their ages? So it's before two years. So it will be y minus two. It it must have been y minus two, and this is two y minus two. Right. So isn't it very simple, friends? Let's take one more. Now in this case, Anupam is x years old. Lily is 5 times Anupam's age increased by 7 years. Now, Anupam is x years. Now, we take Lily. Lily is 5 times, first of all, 5 times Anupam's age increased by 7 years. That means, first of all, Anupam's age increased by 7 years, then 5 times. So, 5 times Anupam's age increased by 7 years. Anupam age is x increased by 7. That put a bracket. I uh, told you in the previous session, in fact, also that do not forget to put the bracket. Right? So, and 5 times. So, Anupam's age is x here. So, Lily will be 5 times x plus 7. Okay? Now friends, let's take some uh, geometry and mensuration related problems. Here we are given a rectangle, right? Length of this rectangle is L that's given to us and breadth is B. We have to find out the perimeter of this rectangle. Now what is the perimeter? It's 2 times length plus breadth, right? So this is the perimeter 2 times put a bracket don't forget to put the bracket length plus breadth and 2 times right this is the first question now suppose second question length is given as L and breadth is half of length if it is given breadth is half of length in that case if length is L breadth will be L by 2 that is half of L. Now what will be the perimeter? 2 times length plus breadth. Length is length. Breadth is what? L by 2 that is half of length. So it's L by 2. Okay friends? And if you are asked about area of this rectangle in this case, so area is what? This side into this side, that means length into breadth. So, length is L, area I write, and breadth is L by 2. So, it is L into L by 2 or you can say L square by 2. Okay? Now, friends, uh, we have one more verbal expression over here that we have to convert into algebraic expression. The amount A of money that an investment P will becomes is equal to sum of investment and interest, right? Amount is A that is equal to sum of investment and interest. Investment is what? P sum 
and interest. Right? Isn't it very easy friends? If you learn to convert the verbal expression into algebraic expression, good number of problems can be solved very easily. Right? So, I hope you are getting me. Let's take one or two more. Now, the sum of angles of a triangle ABC is equal to 180 degree. Right? So, it's angle A plus angle B plus angle C. That is sum of all the three angles is equal to 180 degree. Right? Now, if you are told that uh, sum of angle B and angle C is 90 degree, then also you can write angle B plus angle C is 90 degree. Right? So, this way you can do. Now, friends, uh, let's learn to evaluate algebraic expressions. Right? Now, suppose um, maybe I have an algebraic expression A plus B. Now, I am given that A is 1 and B is 2. Then A plus B will be equal to 1 plus 2 that is 3. Right? Now, suppose I have A plus 2B and A is 1, B is 2. So, I will put the value of A and B over here. So, it is 1 plus 2 into 2. So, that is 1 plus 4 that is 5. Right? Or suppose I am given A minus B. So, A minus B is what? 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. Right? So, this way you can evaluate an algebraic expression. Right? Doesn't matter how difficult or how lengthy it is. You just put the value and uh, you can get the solution easily if you know board mass rules. Right? Basic arithmetic operations must be clear and you should be clear with board mass. Okay? So, let's take some more examples. Now, friends, here uh, we are given some uh, algebraic ex or some verbal expression. First of all, we have to convert them to an algebraic expression. Then, we have to evaluate them. Now, 3 cubed. 3 cubed is what? 3 cubed. That is 3 into 3 into 3. So, 3 3s are 9 and 9 3s are 27. Right? Now, 6 increased by 6. 6 increased by 6. So, that is 12. Okay. The sum of 7 and 6. Sum of 7 and 6. Sum of 7 and 6. So, that is 13. 29 decreased, decreased by 8. So, that is 21. 17 minus 8, 17 minus 8, so that is 9, right? 5 cubed, 5 cubed, so that is 5 into 5 into 5, that is 5 5s five are 25, 25 5s five are 125, okay? 3 increased by 7, 3 increased by 7. So, that is 10. Okay. The product of 5 and 7. 5 and 7 and product. Product of 5 and 7 that is multiplication product means. So, that is 35. 16 decreased by 8. 16 decreased by 8. Okay. So, it is Six, I'm sorry, 8. Okay. 12 minus 6. 12 minus 6. So, that is 6. Okay. 7 more than 12. 7 more than 12. More means plus. So, 7 more than 12. So, that is 19. 24 decreased by 12. 24 decreased by 12. So, that is 12. Okay. The product of 2 and 8, 2 and 8 product that is 
16 the quotient of 40 and 5 40 divided by 5 quotient how do we find this divided by this that means 40 divided by 5 that is 8 okay so quotient of 40 and 5 is 8 the third power of 4 4 and its third power right so that is nothing but 4 cube 4 into 4 into 4 4 fours are 16 16 fours are 64 okay 8 more than 10 this is 10 this is 8 8 more than 10 so that is 18 okay so you find that it's very easy to find uh, to, to convert a verbal expression into an algebraic expression than to then after that evaluation of that is also very easy okay now we'll take some more examples now let's say this one here it's j plus h divided by 3 and we have to use the values of h as 3 and j as 6 now what you have to do you just have to put up the value over here let's do it j is 6 h is 3 divided by 3 now as i told you earlier you should be very much clear with board mass rules so first of all you have to solve the bracket now 6 plus 3 is what 9 9 divided by 3 9 divided by 3 is what 3 okay very simple now it is b minus a square b is what 3 minus a square that means 1 square now 1 square is what 1 only so it is 3 minus 1 that is 2 okay similarly y plus x divided by 6 use x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 6 so 6 plus 6 divided by 6 okay now we have to solve the bracket first 6 plus 6 is 12 divided by 6 that is 2 okay similarly over here m is equal to 6 and p is equal to 4 put the value m is equal to 6 p is equal to 4 so it is 4 minus 1 now 4 minus 1 is 3 first of all we have to solve the bracket so 6 into 3 that is 18 okay here m p minus m m is 3 p is 2 so 3 into 2 right m p that means m into p right it's m into p so 3 into 2 minus m that is 3 so according to board mass what we have to do first division multiplication addition and subtraction so here we are having multiplication and subtraction so according to this rule uh, we have to perform multiplication first right so 3 into 2 6 minus 3 that is 3 okay similarly 5 p that is 5 into p is what 5 minus q that is 4 now again multiplication and subtraction so we have to perform multiplication first then subtraction so 5 into 5 25 minus 4 that is 21 okay isn't it very easy friends now let's take this one 1 plus y minus x 1 plus y is 6 minus x that is 5 now according to board mass first we have to add and then subtract so 6 plus 1 7 so it is 7 minus 5 that is okay now 6 plus b minus a so it is 6 plus b is 3 minus a is 1 again we have to add then subtract 6 plus 3 9 minus 1 that is 8 getting me here j into 3 plus h j is 5 3 plus h is 1 according to board mass we have to solve the bracket first right so it's 5 into in bracket we have 3 plus 1 that is 4 so it is 5 into 4 that is 20 okay here c cube that is 
टू क्यूब माइनस बी सो इट्स बी नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व टू क्यूब फर्स्ट सो दैट इज एट माइनस वन दैट इज सेवन ओके हियर एक्स प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर सो एक्स इज वॉट फोर वाई स्क्वेयर इज वॉट फाइव स्क्वेयर सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व फाइव स्क्वेयर सो इट इज फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी ओके हियर सिक्स पी प्लस एम सिक्स पी इज टू एम इज सिक्स वी हैव टू सॉल्व द ब्रैकेट फर्स्ट सो टू प्लस सिक्स इज एट सो सिक्स इन टू एट दैट इज फोर्टी एट ओके हियर वाई एक्स स्क्वेर वाई इज फोर इफ नो साइन इज गिवन यू हैव टू यूज मल्टीप्लीकेशन साइन y into x square that is three square right so first of all you have to solve three square so that is four into nine and that is thirty six okay here m minus n divided by four m is five n is four divided by four now according to board mass. Between division and subtraction, we have to perform division first, right? So it's five minus four divided by four is what? One. Now five minus one is four, right? So friends, you just observe that how easy it is to evaluate a uh, an algebraic expression. You just put up the value of the variables over here in the expression and just solve using both mass. Okay, friends. so friends uh, in the in the next session we'll be taking more concepts related to algebra do revise this session and the previous ones i'll see you in the next session once again bye bye